a West Side High School student has been shot in the chest and right now is in surgery and life-threatening condition this morning. This happened at 6.15 a.m. simply while the student was walking to his bus stop. All right, giving you perspective. So this student then boarded a school bus. That bus driver drove that student to the closest fire station, which is on Tiny Tim Lane. You can see how close the school is to the location where the fire station is. And we know that that student who was wounded is a student at Westside High School. Jennifer Reddy is joining us now live from outside that fire station. Jen, for as best as we've been able to tell based on the angles and the pictures that you've brought us, are a lot of the kids who were on the bus still being interviewed inside the fire station by investigators? It appears at this point a lot of the students are no longer being interviewed. Some of them did board a bus and were transported to school. But I want to give you a look at the scene here right now. You can see that JSO is still here on the scene, as well as several detectives and that school bus that did take that swift action to bring that student here to this fire station when he boarded the bus with that gunshot wound. Now to give you a quick recap, here is what we know so far. We are told that a young man from West Side High School walked on walking to the bus stop this morning around 615 was shot by a black car driving by. He did board the bus. The bus driver acted very quickly and brought him here to this fire station. He was then transported to the hospital with life threatening injuries. At this time, they do not have have any suspects in custody as to who was in that black car that drove by early this morning. We also do not have a suspect description at this time. Now, something else that uh, the school board did tell us is that when when they were questioning several students who were aboard that bus, two of the students were uncooperative and one did try to take an officer's taser. That student was tased and was transported to Baptist to ensure that he is OK. We are we did ask JSO about that and they did give us very little information in regards to that incident. But again, they are still here on the scene. They are continuing to investigate. I did speak with one witness here on the scene and he told us a little bit about what he saw when he got off the bus stop and he said that he did see somebody who was loaded into a truck. We do not know which individual that may have been, but he says that this needs to stop and these things shouldn't be happening in broad daylight, especially to kids. And he says he is going to take his concerns to the city council. Reporting live, Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station. All right, thank, thank you, Jen. And uh, we do know, based on our interview earlier with uh, Ashley Harding, who is just live outside Westside High School, that crisis counselors are there talking to students because they're arriving to school to find out that one of their, one of their classmates has been shot and is literally fighting for his life right now at the hospital. We know that the, the principal of Westside High is currently right there on scene right now. Um, he is talking to the students, trying to calm them down because, you know, as you know, 21 students on the bus, 19 of them were from his school, Westside High School. And, and as they not only witness this young man coming onto their bus with a possibly life-threatening, well, it is a life-threatening, but possibly fatal gunshot wound, um, it's jarring. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's jarring. It's tragic. Okay. They're, they're kids. I mean, they're kids having to deal with this. So uh, I know Jen just mentioned that Ashley Harding was at Westside High School. We want to go ahead and check in with Ashley now. I know you haven't been on scene very long, Ashley, but can you tell us what you see around you? Yes, Nikki and Jen, good morning. We've actually been talking to a couple parents who were late dropping their children off. This was actually the first time, those two that we had spoken to, this is the first time they had heard about this situation. I was basically breaking the news to them. And the first lady, she did not want to go on camera because she immediately started to cry. She started to tear up. Just the thought of one of her children's classmates being shot walking to the bus stop. She was just pulling out here like, like any other parent would do. But we did talk to another father who was right behind her. It was his first time hearing about this as well. I alerted him to the crisis teams who are now inside that building inside Westside High School talking to these students, undoubtedly talking to his son and daughter as well. He immediately became angry when he heard what happened. He immediately started talking about how this is just unacceptable for this to happen to young to, to a young man. Here is his reaction, what he told me and what's concerning him the most as a parent. All daylight, your kids coming to school to learn and you have to go through this stuff is 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 it's unacceptable, you know. I mean, kids, kids' life is in danger. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, you know. I mean, we living in a time now that everybody just want to hurt each other, you know. Instead of resolving things, people just want to resolve the violence, and it's got to stop. 
And while the young man who has been shot, his name has not been identified at this point. And of course, we don't know who that young man is, but that father tells me he wouldn't be surprised at all if that young man knows his children, his two children who go to school here. And for that, for that reason alone, he says, you know, his mind and his heart and his thoughts are with that young man as he is now in surgery with life threatening injuries. And as you heard him there say, he's just he's sick of hearing stories like this. And now that it's happened to a student for him, he says it really hits close to home. And of course, we're still here at Westside High School where those crisis teams are working with these students right now. Of course, we'll keep you updated with new details that do come in. But for now, we're live on the West Side. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. All right, thank you, Ashley. And again, we want to take you live back to the scene where, as Jennifer Reddy just reported to us, I mean, this is the school bus where that um, that wounded student boarded along with 21 other students was taken so that they so that, you know, he could be helped by Fire Station 22, all the EMTs and the paramedics who are there. Um, you know, it's interesting because we saw that two more um, investigators have pulled up there about 20, 30 minutes ago. But as Jen had mentioned, most of the students who are on the bus have been interviewed and were put on a bus and then led away to uh, presumably go back to school or to take them someplace where their parents could pick them up. We are waiting to find out information about how this young man is doing. We do know that he is at least 17 years old. Um, we're told by officers they, they think he's between 17 and 19 years old. At last check, he was in surgery at UF Health and he was in life-threatening condition with one gunshot wound to the chest. Our prayers are with him and his family. And again, we're just waiting to find out how he, he did with surgery and hopefully he will be able to pull through.